How to use a support blocker in Cura Ultimaker. <coughs> if you've ever thought about 3D printing a helmet or some sort of cosplay and you've come across this big support needed in the middle, here is a little trick on how to stop that. Now just to uh, clarify, I'm using the newest version of Cura. For the instance of this video, I will be using the do3D files of the Magneto Apocalypse helmet, because it's pretty cool, it's got a few overhangs. Now, if you were to do this usually, if this is just using tree supports and a 0.5 nozzle, it's gonna take you three days, half a kilo of filament, and it's gonna look something like that. Now that is absolute overkill, even for tree supports. So I'm going to show you an easier way on how to save on supports. So you've got your model and as you can see all the red bits underneath, that is what's going to need supports or what Cura is saying is going to need supports. So if we go over to this here, this is a little support blocker and we just plonk that down in the middle. So you see it there? That's our little support blocker. Now, wherever that is, it's going to stop Cura from supporting it. So basically, you can expand it, you can uh, size it just as you would with a print. So if you take off uniform scaling, you can have it further out one way, you know, further out another. Go straight up big as you want and ideally that's something what you want to be looking for so you can move it around and you want to be aiming to get it just where that red part of the dome is here so you just mess around with it get it to size obviously you don't want to go too big because you are going to need to support some bits like say on this for instance on this one you're going to need supports underneath here for definite, especially with these little peaks here. If you've ever tried printing a Bo-Katan helmet, you'll know all about that. That's just like a rough rough guide. Ideally, you can play around with it until you get it perfect. I could go to, say, there maybe. Yeah, and a bit more in the back. But that's like I said, you can mess around with it until you get it perfect. And once that's all near enough covered, it needs a little bit more. Yeah, so once you've got it like that, you could uh, go ahead and slice it. Obviously these bits you wanna leave so once you've had a good play around with it, got used to it, uh, have a try, have a practice with it, slice it, see what you're coming in at, and see if how much filament it'll actually save you. So that's it, that's how you use support blockers on Cura. Hope you liked it, hope it was informative. If there is any other uh, topics that you'd like me to cover on Cura or a Mesh Mixer, please leave a comment below and I will be able to make a video on those. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on next time.